Hey there, welcome back to Westby, Wisconsin. I'm snowed in. <laughs> whole lot of snow. And it has actually started causing a little bit of problem. Uh, as a matter of fact, had a uh, tractor, uh, well, the uh, moline. We finished up the uh, canola, and as you can tell, well, I'm down to about $38,000, but I was up over 100. I actually had a pretty good harvest on the canola. We sold it all. And I put in a silo because I'm going ahead and uh, starting on the corn. So I needed a place to store it. And well, as a matter of fact, I didn't even check the corn prices. I went ahead and put in the silo. 706. Yeah, so we're a little low. We can get a better price later on. So I put in the silo and then I bought this snow blower. So I'm going down the road here on my way back from the shop. Trying to clear at least one lane. <laughs> but I'm going to have to get down here to the driveway and clear it because the moline could not pull this auger wagon up the driveway. It's just too steep, too slick, and it was having all kinds of problems. So we're going to get down here uh, here in just a moment, and we'll get that cleared out so that we can drive up the uh, driveway. Uh, we do have the uh, combine uh, in the little corn patch, working on that. And I've just been putting the... Uh, the corn into the other trailer for now. Let's see, how do we change this? There we go. Now one thing I did notice, if you turn the jet or the nozzle all the way up like that, it'll actually just blow the snow up into thin air, which comes in handy for a few little spots, but we're not going to do that. We're going to try to blow it somewhere out of the way so let's get turned around here and then we're going to try to uh, get this driveway cleared out let's get that nozzle brought down a little bit there we go and we'll kick it off to the side we may have to make a couple strips here on the driveway just to get get it cleared out enough let's get that jet <laughs> going to the right direction there we go let's pull forward and we'll hit that again Try and push that corner down here into the, well, at least back behind the fence, I guess. I didn't really want to buy a snow blower or any type of snow uh, removal implements. I, I really didn't want to fool with it, but it basically got to the point where I had to. Ooh, we are getting a pile there. Let's see. We'll blow a little bit of it up into the air. There we go. Yeah, I didn't want to uh, <laughs> to deal with any of it. But yeah, this driveway is just a little bit too steep. So we had to do something. Alright, now we'll turn the nozzle down. Well, to the other side. Hopefully this will work out. It is. It is going up into thin air again. There we go. Now I did put down the silo. When I did that, I was leveling out the area just to make sure that everything was good. And I actually ended up... Uh, well, the snow got moved around with the uh, leveling. So when we get over there, it will look like I have done some snow work, but I did not. It was from the landscaping tool, and I hated to do that. I didn't didn't really mean to, but that's just what happened. Not trying to cheat the system. All right, let's get one more pass here. I think that'll get the driveway really good. Oh. Let's make sure we shoot that clear of the driveway. And then we get up here, we're going to have to make a turn. Clear this out. And I think we'll be good from there. The, uh, the tractor was just having trouble getting up this driveway. So I think once we get this cleared out, we'll be good to go.
There we go. Let's give that a shot and see what happens. We'll pull this out of the way. And then we'll walk down the hill here and grab the Moline. Because we do need the uh, auger wagon down here. So I've been thinking about the other farm. Or the other field location where we have the shed and the other fields. Kind of went back and forth about whether to sell it. Whether to keep it. I mean it is some good farmland that I have down there. And it's already kind of set up. And rolling good. But I have so much land now to deal with a lot over here that w which would just keep me busy so I don't know what to do I, I really don't I've had a suggestion that I I should sell it but I don't know I, I'm still kind of kicking that around I did end up putting a fuel pump down here I think that's cool it looks very uh very old I like that. Fits in. I did get a weather station here. I know this is probably a little more modern, but, well, they've had weather stations for a while. I'll put that on the farm just so we can get a little better idea of when we're going to get rain and snow. And let's see. Let's go ahead and jump in the combine here. And we'll finish up this corn, which it looks like is nearly done. If I can catch up to it. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to have two passes. Wow, okay. Actually, the uh, I did one strip down the side, and then the helper's actually done this entire field. I've had to empty it once or twice already. And I didn't intend for that to happen. It just took me that long to get everything moved down and set up. And then I got to doing the uh, snow removal. So that uh, took quite a bit of time. But... That's what the helpers are here for. Uh, if we took a look at the map real quick. Yeah, field 82 is what we just harvested. Now, 83 is corn too, but it is not ready. But then we have this over here on 67, which we'll get to after this. I didn't want to use this uh, trailer for the corn, but it ended up being what I had to use because I couldn't get the auger wagon up into the driveway. Uh, we did have some trouble with this trailer with the the auger getting it into the silo. But there was also snow on the ground, so I don't know if that affected it, uh, getting it lined up. It may have. So we'll try it over here in just a moment uh, with, with a, a, a snow-cleared ground and see if that won't be a little easier go ahead and drive the combine down here. I'm going to go ahead and fuel it up before we get over into that other field. Uh, why are we not able to fuel it? There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, it's refueling now. So I will leave that there. And let's see, we have the auger we're going to need to move. So you see the uh, ground got cleared out here uh, when I was leveling. So maybe this will work out okay. Uh, let's see, there we go. He doesn't like driving with that snow pushing up on the uh, the end of the auger there. And we can get it dropped off there onto the dirt and see if it won't drive a little better. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Come on, little auger. Yeah, I have no steering now. There we go. Oh man, this is not working out good. I may have to bring the snowblower over here and clear out a little bit more. Matter of fact, let me do that because this is not responding very well. Maybe I need to fold it. That may help. Alright, let me go grab the uh, snowblower. I think it'll probably be for the best anyway. So 
Still have the time. Look at that mountain of snow. Still have the time set at 0.5 speed uh, because we do have snow coming in. I believe. Oh, it is 11 o'clock. I thought we were supposed to already get snow. Let's take a look at the weather forecast. 11. So, uh, yeah, so I have about an hour game time before I get snow. So I'm trying to get through as much of this corn harvest as I can. May end up having to harvest some of it and take a penalty. I don't know. Hopefully it won't come to that. Alright, well, how about, what's the best way to do this? You know what I, uh, let's see. Let's see, what can we do? Let's turn the nozzle around. We have the area back there that we're not really using right now. So let's see what happens. I think that'll work out okay. We'll just blow it back over there. I hate having to drive backwards on this tractor. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like, uh, older US equipment had the front three point. I'm really not sure when they added that. I know some of the, uh, European stuff has had it for quite some time, but I know growing up, I never seen a tractor down here with a front three point. I'm not saying they weren't out there, just saying I had never seen one. So I don't know if that's uh, something that was that available. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that. So I'm trying to stick with non th front three point tractors, at least for now. I think what I'm gonna do is blow some of this up in the air just so it gets it out of the way. Give us a little space around the silo here, a little space to turn around. Yeah, so for now I'm having to drive backwards with the, the snow blower. I think there is an attachment, a PTO attachment, for a front uh, front loader. I I know we had one in in 19. I I don't know if there's one out yet for uh, FS22, but that may be an option. Getting a front loader on one of the tractors and then I can hook this up to that with that attachment may work out pretty good and I'm blowing this up into the air because if I blow it down on the ground well, we're going to be driving through here in a bit probably do a little bit more work on this in a little bit so let's stop there I think we've got a good enough area should be able to get the auger moved Zoom out just a little bit so I can see the end of it. This auger is just barely long enough. I think we are getting really close right there. Alright, let's, let's leave that there and then let's open the cover. And then let's go over here. We need to close this cover. I've never done that. Yeah, and then what I'm going to do, uh, you know what, let's go grab another tractor. We'll leave the snowblower hooked up. I feel like I'm just running around with a, or like a chicken with my head cut off right now. Ooh, I hope YouTube doesn't. I didn't mean anything bad about that. <laughs> YouTube, it's not animal cruelty. It's just a saying, just a saying. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm making a lot of progress yet in this episode, but we're getting things done. It's part of it, I guess. Sometimes you spend the day just shuffling things around. A little closer, a little closer, and we are not getting 
the attach trigger. That is weird. And I really don't know. Maybe you don't have to have a tractor hooked up to the auger. I'm not sure. But we're going to run with it just for a touch of realism. So I need to get... Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can't get the uh, combine to drop what we have left in here into the auger. I think I had trouble with this before and it may not be worth the uh, effort trying to get it in there this way <laughs> it has got a super tiny trigger point yeah we'll just we'll just pull this over here we'll get it emptied out in just a moment and I'm just going to blink over here to the truck just so I don't have to run up the hill there we go. And so that trailer is full. So 19,000 liters plus, I think there was about 4,000 in the uh, combine. So pretty good little haul on that small field. And uh, when we get over here unloading, I'll take a look at the menu. And we'll show you what we ended up with uh, with the uh, soybeans uh, if you remember when we put the first bit of soybeans in there I think it was uh, four or five thousand liters that I put to the uh, the silo the first time oh I did not get close enough that figures oh, oh there we go oh and I bumped the bumped the auger yeah definitely this trailer's cheap it's cheap trailer and it works but emptying into this auger is not ideal so we're gonna have to look at something different before we have another harvest there we go so while that's emptying out I think the yeah, so 80, almost 86,000 liters. I can't remember. I may have mentioned that in the last episode, but 86,000 liters, that's going to be some good money come uh, around June, July time. But you know what? Let's just leave that there. And actually, well, that's what I may do is just leave this truck hooked up to it. And then we can use the auger wagon and bring it up and dump it into the trailer and then dump it into the to the auger. Have to daisy chain this stuff, but we'll get it in there. So we will get this emptied out here and head down the hill and start working on this next field. I guess it's actually two fields, but oh. Oh, oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh boy, yeah, we went, went sliding down the hill, which I bet you I'm going to have to remove the snow because I'll never get back up it with a load of corn in the wagon, oh, can we get off that fence, there we go, oh yeah, it is just sliding, <laughs> Uh, slick that snow is slick all right back to picking corn so I tell you I am having a lot of fun on this playthrough and if you guys follow my channel my other series I have going on right now Stone Valley which is a role play series now I've mentioned this before in other videos other live streams that the role play recordings do take quite a bit more time as you can imagine uh, as well as the editing takes a lot more time so uh, I do enjoy these let's play type series I, I really enjoyed Middleburg and uh, really having a good time on this one I'm enjoying doing or using the older equipment so it's a, a nice change of pace and uh, there's been some well I get to uh, the play on the server here with some of the folks and so that's been enjoyable as well I uh, help either helping them out or they've 
come along and help me out. So I do enjoy that. I've, I've enjoyed uh, making this series so far. Uh, there's just so many possibilities on this map that you could do. And so I'm having a blast. Really enjoying the series. I hope you guys are too. All right, so let me uh, run around the field here. We'll get another tank or two loaded up, and then we're going to. Uh... Actually, you know what? Let me hire a helper here. I'm gonna do that because I need to do something while that is working. So let's hop over here to not that to this. Let's go ahead and get this cleared out a bit. So let me get that angle down. And let's see what we can do. There we go. So I need to stop that because we need to go over here. Let's find about the middle. And we'll run a uh, pass down the hill here. And then we'll run back up and then we'll blow another pass over into the uh, cow pen there. Since we currently don't have any cows, it won't matter too much. And let's get this blown out that way just a bit right here on the end. Let's see, turn it around. We'll just get it where we can get to this field. All right, that's good there. I don't know if I could back up this hill with the snowblower running, so let's just run back up here real quick. While I'm heading up here, we'll spin it around. Get it ready to... Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. Let's get it blowing. This is a little bit... A little bit, uh... Have to stop and, and move and everything. imagine it would be uh, even more difficult in real life trying to operate one of these. Hopefully you would have the nozzle on a joystick or something. Maybe you could move it as you needed. Alright, so I have completely blocked myself in. <laughs> let's come up here and we'll get this. Uh, let's see. Turn it out that way a bit. Yeah, that'll work. Got that. Uh, see you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow this up into the air. And that will just get rid of this pile here. I guess it... Maybe that's to uh, simulate just spreading it out over a really big area. I don't know. But either way, it works out pretty good. Get rid of this little mound here, and we'll be good to go. Very good. Now, hopefully, the moling can pull that cart up this hill. I'm not. Oh, I just ran over a deer. I think it's a little. You know what? Let's go ahead and clear this out too. I think it's just a, a touch underpowered when it comes to that cart full, uh, but. I don't have anything stronger at this moment. I'm just going to have to use it. I think that will be good. It gives me a little path to drive through there. So we'll pull this over here out of the way. And let's go grab the Moline. And let's see, it's over here. And we'll go empty out the combine. It should be getting close to full by now. So hopefully this spring, my intention is to maybe pick up some cows, uh, at least a few. I don't have a whole lot of cash right now. I have the soybeans, I have the corn that we'll be putting into silo, uh, but that's all I have. I don't have anything else. Oh, you know what? I do have the grass silage. So maybe able to sell uh, some of that and make a little bit. Now getting it out of that silo is going to be interesting. That's, that's a uh, nice way to put it, uh, because I believe those silos empty out into the barn. So I may have to rig up some kind of conveyor belt system 
to get it out. I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Back up, back up. Didn't realize he was turning around. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and jump in the combine here. Oh, I missed a spot over there. I know I'm running all in the corn. I apologize for that. We'll run along this fence row and get a nice little buffer there. We'll pick up that strip of corn in a little while. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll get an opening right here. And then while we're coming by, we'll empty out the combine. There we go. So I have this little field on this hill right here and then that big field over there of, of corn. So it's going to take me quite a bit of time to get through that. Hopefully, I can do it before the snow starts falling. Hopefully. I'm uh, kind of against the gun right now. Um, I'm thinking if, if it does start snowing, I'm just going to continue on with the harvesting. I know I will take a hit on the on the corn but we're already in February and so the real reality is we're probably past where this corn would be good anyway so uh, I know I'm not playing with seasons but kind of keep it semi realistic uh, this corn has been been right for quite some time now so we will just go ahead and get what we can get off of it and then get ready for some spring planting Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, if you are, please be sure to click that thumbs up button. Uh, if you are new to my channel and haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe today. Feel free to share my videos with others that you think may enjoy my content. If you have some so social media sites that you are active on, by all means, please share my videos there. Tell a friend or family member go check me out. I would appreciate it. Appreciate you all for watching and the continued support. We'll see you soon.